This thread is known as VPN filter. The malware directly infects your router. That's the box serving as the gateway to connect your various devices to the internet. There's no easy way to, to tell if your device may be infected, but since Cisco has said there's 500,000 devices infected over 54 countries, I think we should just assume that we're at risk and we should try to do something about it. Cybersecurity expert Jody Westby says the VPN filter can interrupt your service, steal your information, and even use your device to spread the damaging malware. If you're a small business, you really need to take heed of this warning because you're a customer list, your pricing list, your intellectual property, your business processes are there and you do not want that stolen and put out on the dark web. So what can you do? The FBI has seized the source of the malware, so rebooting your router should help. It's a simple process of just pulling out the power cord, waiting 20 to 30 seconds, and then plugging it back in. But make sure it reestablishes the connection to the internet. If you want further help or assurance, call your internet service provider. Routers provide the internet connection for 23 billion devices, including thermostats, refrigerators, and home control devices like Alexa or Echo. The Department of Justice has already linked the malware to a hacking group using names like APT28, Fancy Bear, and Sandworm, all operating under the guidance of Russia's military intelligence agency. Bottom line, it's another example of whatever is connected to the internet is vulnerable. Eric Rosales, CBN News, Washington.